happy friday welcome back to our channel here is another weekly favorites first up is a brow product that we've both been loving mm -hmm. so much it's called the elf wow brow first of all i love the packaging me too but it's elf. very tiny no it's really small but it's so black and sleek and like the yeah font. it's a nice packaging and it has this cute little color matched like stripe so we got the shade neutral brown they had a few different shades and it's just like your standard brow gel, but I love the uh, brush on here. Me too. I think the brush makes it. It's a really like small defined bristle brush. And so I feel like it really helps to grab each hair and it doesn't deposit too much product. No, I like, think the wiper brow, works you know? really effectively because when you pull it out, there isn't a lot of product on the brush. No. And then when you apply it, like we just said, the deposit is so minimal that you can really build it up. Like I went in twice on each brow, which never happens. Usually I have to do some backtracking. Yeah. Uh, so I like that because I don't like it to deposit too much pigment ever or too much product. Because uh, I just like it to, you know, hold my brows in place but, but not be too look crunchy. Like fluffy and natural. Yeah. yeah. And this is $4, by the way. So it's such yeah. a steal. It's definitely like the best drugstore brow gel that I tried. I'm so Could impressed. be ever. I like, know. I don't know. I love it. Which we've tried a lot and we've talked about a lot that we've liked. Like the ColourPop. The ColourPop I still really like, but I like this more. Me too. Me too. It's really, really good. Mm -hmm. It'll probably go on our monthly favorites I know. too. Okay, next I'm going to talk about these vases before I forget. So last weekend we made a trip to Ikea because we just like to go, honestly, for the food Fun. pretty often. like, And then just to look Walk around. around. We, but we love the pizza and the ice cream, like as do most people. And so we went, it was a blast, and I was on the hunt for vases, and I found two. I need to buy some dried flowers to go in them. I had some picked out from A Floral, and I waited too long, and now they're gone. I'm still really bitter about it. But I'm going to go to a local flower shop and see what they have. Anyways, I got two vases. I love them both. Um, they're very neutral. They're just basically white. This one was about 25, I believe, and this one was under 20. I have to look, but I'll think what? them. Yeah. No, they were both like under $10. No, this one was pretty expensive. Really? It was the big one. Are you sure? Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, maybe they're both around $20. I think they're, I want to look. Well, I, I'm going to link them. They're, I found them both on the website, so they're they're there. I'll link them. Um, this one is more of like a cream ceramic type vase. I love the, um, I don't know what you would call this, like, uh, I don't know, just this pattern of, um, I don't know. It's just really pretty. And then this one, I have a mini version that I bought a while ago from Ikea, but I love the shape of this. Berta thinks it's ugly, but I think it's really cute. Yeah, I don't like the shape, but I love the pattern. I love the shape, and then this also is white, but it has um, like black and brown specks in it, so I love that. I love this one, Shiny. I do wish this one was matte. That's my only complaint, because I think they would look um, like the different finish would look really nice together. But... Beggars can't be choosers, and these are so cheap for how nice I think they look. I think that Ikea is, I mean, for us, we found a lot of hits, but you do have to, like, search, I would say. Yeah, for sure. I mean, mm -hmm. when you look online, okay, so this one was $15. Oh, wait, why did I think $25? I, I knew there was a so 5 weird. in there, and this so one was 15. 8 Okay, really I told cheap. You. Really cheap. I knew they were cheap. I knew this one was pretty affordable, but... Okay, so eight and fifteen, really affordable, and like I said, I think that they look very high end. Like, yeah, like they are so much nicer than. They that have price. some things that look really cheap. But yeah, some things that look really nice. I know. So if you're on the hunt for new vases, definitely recommend IKEA. I have a home favorite as well this Oops. week. Um, I got some new bedding because um, I don't know. I've had my bedding for a while and I can't upgrade to a king size bed yet because there's just no room. Uh, so to like refresh, I thought it would be nice to get some new bedding. So I just got all white um, sheets and like a duvet cover and then I wanted some neutral throw pillows to go with it that still kind of went with the white but weren't, you know, like too crazy. And I found these at Target. Shocker, I know. And I love them. First of all, the quality is so good. Mm -hmm. um, it's like really a thick, nice material that I feel like would wear well. Um, and this is the color neutral. It comes in a few different shades. I'll link them down below. They're only $20. And like I said, the quality is really nice. Like they're very like dense throw pillows. So I like, because you know, throw pillows are for decoration, but mm -hmm. if you need to like lean back on them, you don't want them to be super flat or uncomfortable. So I really love these. I think they're super, super they're nice. Really nice. They'll go with like so much decor and I love them. They look really nice in my bed. So highly recommend them. And I feel like their throw pillows at Target, they constantly release new ones, but 
but they sell out really quickly from my experience so definitely grab these if you're interested and i would look at reviews because um target has yeah. really good reviews like i don't think they delete anything negative so no, you can I doubt really it. get a good idea of what is good quality and what isn't i mean most of their stuff is good quality no i would days. agree but sometimes yeah. you know there's, there's i agree chances. yeah okay um second to last is our new favorite creamer this is the starbucks inspired by pumpkin spice latte creamer um they released this this year and it was a huge news everyone was so excited because everyone loves a good psl and it's a really good idea for starbucks to capitalize on that and release like their own brand yeah. or in their creamer line because they launched the creamer line earlier this year shout out to my coworker ashley for picking this up for me because we have yet to find it in our target and well, she, I mean, they'll probably get it, like, next week. They will, but she found it, and so she got it for me, and it's so good. It's mm -hmm. not, like, too sweet. No, which we hate. Yeah, but it definitely has that pumpkin spice flavor, and I love that. I really appreciate that it's in this big tub, because we have bought, like, a smaller. The Natural Bliss ones yeah, are our favorite. and we go through them so quickly, mm -hmm. and this one, I just like that we, like, have it, and we know we have it, and we can buy, like, a second one, and then we'd probably be done for, like, this I season. I hope they do, um, like, a peppermint mocha one for... I know, me too. Me it's too. Really, really it's idea. a pretty short ingredient list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, really pleased with this. If you're um, a f like into fall like we are, definitely pick this up. Yeah. Okay, and last up is a little makeup kit. This is the Sephora Favorites Clean Makeup Kit. And I wanted to mention this because I got this for half off, so it was only $14. And it comes with, I mean, if you've seen the Sephora Favorites kits, this is like they come in a box like this and it shows you all like the trial size products that come in here but i wanted it because it has the lawless seal of the deal setting powder in their travel size and it's like that on its own is like 23 dollars, and this was originally 28 so it's like oh you could buy this for almost the same price and get all these other products but then when i saw that it went on sale for 15 dollars, or maybe it was even 14 um i just was like that's such a no-brainer for me so hopefully it's still available when this goes up but i'm using all of these pro not all of them most of these products today i really really enjoy this lawless setting powder it's almost like a this is their classic translucent but it does have a slight like yellowy tint to mm -hmm. it which i prefer to like a true white powder i feel like it looks more natural on the skin it's very finely milled it's talc free uh, i feel like it just you know sets my makeup in place without looking cakey really really love this and you get so much product i know it looks small but i feel like this will last me such a long time oh i spilled some of it and then i wore or i haven't worn um this yet but carly has this actually it's the Is it cashew yeah the mm -hmm. bite beauty multi-stick in cashew um, do you wear this on your lips or cheeks more? i've worn both but um lips more okay yeah i really love this shade it's super super beautiful love bite beauty this i've been so impressed with i'm wearing it today it's the Ilia True Skin Radiant Priming Serum. It says firming and smoothing aloe infused. And it's so interesting. Like, um, it has sort of an opalescent, like, pearl to it. But it's very subtle. And then when you put it on the skin, it almost kind of feels a little bit tacky. So I feel like it makes a really good makeup primer. And it gives your skin, like, a really nice natural glow. I really love this. It gets really good reviews in Sephora. And now I know why. Now we're just big fans of Ilia. Oh my god, I love them. Um, I'm also wearing their mascara oh, today. Doesn't it look good? It does look good. Yeah. It's funny because I have heard nothing about the mascara. I know. It's, well, I, so the wand is a molded wand, which isn't my favorite because it tends to really hurt my eyes. Me like, too. these things just stab your eyes. Um, but if you're careful enough, like, the thing I love about this wand is that it really separated my eyes and made it so I could really build this up. Like, with each coat it dried down pretty quickly and it didn't get clumpy and it's really really comfortable now i think it the finished product looks really really nice it did just take a little bit of work to build up but i'm really enjoying that and i'm also wearing this josie marin argan enlightened illuminizer i've heard good things about that look isn't it pretty mm -hmm. you see it looks really really natural i put it over powder and it blended just fine um and you also get so much product in here you get 0.23 fluid ounces which is so much for a highlighter. Honestly, like, I pumped too much out of my hand. So I want to find a way. I wish they had sort of like a doe foot applicator, you know, um, because I, every time I've used it, I pump too much out and then I waste it. But I really love that. And then I wore this yesterday. This is the RMS Beauty Lipstick in the shade Temptation. And I was shocked at this, um, well, this formula. It's so creamy, so pigmented. It's like a beautiful deep rose mm -hmm. shade. I'm obsessed. And Armas is very clean. Yeah. Oh 
oh my gosh, from my Anders. Like, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It lasted really well on my lips. I didn't dry them out. Honestly, I'm impressed with every single one of these products in here for $14. Yeah, it's that's an crazy. actual steal. It's a really good deal. So I just want to mention it and I hope that it's still available so you guys can get it too. Okay, that's it for this weekly favorites and we'll be back next week for another one.